like you're some kind of god. If the girl is truly no one, she has nothing to fear. Why have you come to Winterfell? I've got a gift for you. If someone is planning on making our losses their gains, I want to hear it. And now it begins. Now it ends. Hello everyone, in the last episode we saw Jon Snow coming back to life. We all knew this was going to happen but we didn't expect to see it so soon. In the next episode we'll see that the Wildlings will be in awe of Jon Snow. They think you are a god, Tormund tells Jon Snow. We know that Sansa is heading to Castle Black to meet Jon. In the books we saw that Alice Karstark is running from her uncle Arnolf Karstark. She reaches Jon Snow and asks for his help. Looks like again Sansa is going to replace another character. She previously replaced Jane Poole's storyline from the books and marries Ramsay. And here might come the infamous pink letter which Ramsay wrote to Jon. And once Jon hears about what Ramsay did to Sansa, this could be motivation enough for him to lead the army of wildlings to Winterfell. Melisandre also said she saw him fighting at Winterfell. Then we see Arya is becoming more and more of a badass. She will get better in the next episode. Jack and Hagar is teaching her to leave her fears behind. Then we see the Umbers banners. One of the Umbers tells Ramsay that he has a gift for him. And judging by, judging by the happy look on Ramsay's face, my guess is it's Theon. Then we see that Karl Moro's hold has taken Daenerys to Wise Dothrak, where all the widows of Karls are supposed to live for the rest of their lives. Let's hope Drovan will show up soon because Daenerys has to show a lot of strength if she, if she wants the Dothraki on her side. She can only do that with the help of Drogon. He has grown so huge now. We'll see Cersei telling Kyburn to tell her if someone is planning to make their losses into their own games. She could be talking about the faith here. And then we see Bran is going to have a flashback to the Tower of Joy. In the books, Ned remembers Lyanna saying again and again, Promise me, Ned. Only Howland Reed was with Ned at that time. And after the fight of the Tower of Joy, where Ned and six other people fought with three of the King's Guard, Sir Arthur Dane, Sir Oswell Went, and Gerald Hightower, they all die in the fight. Only Ned and Holland Reed survives. And when Ned reaches Lyanna, he finds her in the pool of her blood. Hence the theory R plus L equals J. If John is the son of Rhaegar and Lyanna, it can totally explain why Ned never talks about his mother. I really hope Bran will find out if this theory is correct or not. If you like this video, please click on the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye-bye.